More activity at Steamboat Geyser. 46 earthquakes rocked Yellowstone on. The Yellowstone caldera is known to many for its superlative power. It is one of the world's largest volcanoes and has the potential for a so-called supervolcanic eruption, which could not only cover much of the U.S. in volcanic ash, but also trigger a global winter. Therefore, it's no surprise that the volcano is under close scrutiny by volcanologists. Furthermore, two studies published this year suggest that magma lies at a shallower depth beneath the volcano than previously thought. One study concluded that the special architecture of the near-surface magma body acts like a pressure relief valve, helping stabilize the volcano and preventing rather than causing eruptions. The result of this valve is the diverse post- and intervolcanic manifestations that make the volcano one of the most popular national parks in the U.S. and also the oldest national park in the world. One of these volcanic manifestations represents another of Yellowstone's hallmarks, Steamboat Geyser, the world's most powerful geyser. However, until 2018, this geyser erupted very rarely. When the geyser entered a phase of increased activity, its eruption frequency has decreased, but it remains above the long-term average. Steamboat Geyser erupted twice this year, most recently on April 14th. As YVO volcanologists wrote in their April bulletin published yesterday, the geyser has been quiet since then, but they expect it to become more agitated as it prepares for its next eruption. A seismic network operated by the University of Utah recorded 46 earthquakes on region in April. Most of the quakes were micro-seismic. The strongest quake, magnitude 1.8, was located 21 kilometers northeast of Pahaska Tepe. There were no clusters of earthquakes. In terms of ground deformation, weak subsidence continues to be measured. Since October of last year, the ground has subsided by about 30 millimeters. Subsidence has also occurred in the Norris Geyser Basin, with 10 millimeters of subsidence occurring since the geysers collapse. Uplift there was relatively strong until 2015. It appears that the valves at Yellowstone will continue to function well and prevent volcanic eruptions, at least in the medium term. Steamboat is a larger and more powerful version of Old Faithful, spewing nearly boiling hot water up to 100 meters into the air. According to the USGS, there appears to be an approximate frequency of eruptions every seven to eight days. To study this geyser, geologists from the University of Utah installed seismic arrays across the geyser to capture the rumblings during eruptions. Their hope is struck the geyser's water pipe by measuring sound waves as they travel through the geyser to the seismic sensors. While geyser eruptions can be dangerous if approached too closely, they do not increase the risk of a larger Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. Geyser eruptions are a normal and routine part of the Yellowstone volcanic system. Geyser eruptions are a surface expression of pressure release from beneath the surface. As water drips into the soil and rocks, it continues to move closer to the hot rock and magma beneath Yellowstone National Park. As water flows through cracks and fractures in the rock, it heats up and turns into steam. This process creates superheated, pressurized water 
that is trapped deep beneath the Earth's surface. 